The movie starts off with a woman opening her glossy eyes and finally looking around. There's a pipe-like anesthetic structure hanging on top. Medicine drips from the pipe and a doctor starts working on the woman's face. She's having plastic surgery. The doctor mends her eyes and her face in a way that will make her completely different than before. The doctor mends her nose and eliminates all the acne. She works on the woman's ears and her cheeks to make sure she has a very attractive face. The doctor then goes on to mark her whole face with medical grade pens and makes incisions there to remove any extra skin and fat. The woman is unconscious and the skilled team of doctors completely change her face, then make her nose sharper and her skin tight. There's almost no part of her face that hasn't been changed and operated on. The woman finally recovers a little and walks out of the cosmetic surgery clinic, whilst entirely covering her face with large glasses and a mask. As she's walking, a girl rushing for some emergency bumps into her. The photo frame in her hand falls down. The girl profusely apologizes to the woman. She even offers to pay for the damages and runs away while asking the woman to wait but she couldn't care less. She just walks away as if nothing happened. In another scene, we see a man sitting at a cafe as a beautiful waitress serves him. The man, Jo Woo, can't help staring at her mesmerizing face as she smiles and walks away. He checks her out. Just then, the same girl from before comes into the cafe. She is Jai Wu's girlfriend and catches him staring at the waitress. She glares at him and Jai Wu looks away but deep down, she's really hurt. He apologizes to her but the girl just accuses him of being tired of her after being together for two years. The girl, whose name is Sihi, gets extremely insecure but Jai Wu assures her that he only loves her. But this doesn't convince Sihi at all. In an attempt to defuse the situation, Jai Wu grabs the photo frame in her hand, and asks who the woman in the picture is. It's the same frame that she had broken before. He comments that the woman in the frame looks crazy which pisses Sihei even more. The waitress comes back again to get their order but Sihei is extremely rude to her and yells at her for no reason. This still doesn't stop Jai Wu from staring at the poor waitress. She goes on to continue berating Jai Wu but right then, his phone rings. Sihei soon finds out that the call was from a girl standing outside the cafe, who wanted her license card fixed. She's so insecure that she doesn't even like Jai Wu speaking to the woman. She stares at him as he and the ladies walk into the restaurant together and bid each other goodbye. See he is fuming at the fact that Jai Wu is smiling at the woman. As he joins her back, she screams at him for giving the girl his business card. He's shocked at Sihi's attitude and tells her that he just wanted to give her the card in case she gets into an emergency. She picks on each and everything he did for the girl because she's really jealous and thinks he'll leave her because she's not as attractive as the others. She even goes as far as to tear the card which had the girl's contact information. Jai Wu tries to calm her down but she bursts up on him and everyone in the cafe hears her shouting at him. The ladies from before also laugh at her behavior and Jai Wu starts to get embarrassed. See he can't tolerate it anymore and storms toward the ladies. She screams at them and calls them bad names for talking and smiling at Jai Wu. One of them gets furious and they get into a screaming fight. Jai Wu begs her to stop because she's embarrassing him and that hurts her even more. She runs out of the cafe, crying and he runs after her. Later we find out that she actually left the photo frame in the cafe itself. At home, Jai Wu calls her multiple times and when she doesn't respond, he goes to her apartment. He lays down next to Sihei who's still very mad at him. He finally manages to win her back and that's when she apologizes for her reckless behavior. She admits that she hates it when girls even look at him and how she's sorry for having a boring face, unlike the others. They make up really soon and start making love to each other. But in the midst of it, Jai Wu stops and tells her that he's really tired and apologizes. But this makes her even more insecure. See he thinks that her same boring body doesn't even turn him on anymore. Jai Wu assures her that it's nothing of that sort but see he isn't convinced. She talks about the girls with really attractive features. He asks her to stop as he doesn't want to hear about anyone else, but see he continues talking about the girls and their curves. She tries to turn him on by forcing him to imagine that it's them instead of her. She makes him think it's some other girl who's making love to him. Jai Wu tries to brush her off and tells her that it's weird but she doesn't budge. Soon, he does get turned on and they end up continuing. Even though, they're physically satisfied now, the situation gets really awkward. See he is not even more frustrated at the fact that Jai Wu got turned on at the thought of other women. Jai Wu tries to talk about something else but she doesn't let it go. She continues asking him if he's imagined sleeping with other women before. Jai Wu gets confused and tells her that he just did what she asked him to do and this hurts her a lot. She swoops in for a kiss but instead, bites his lips and tongue. As say he goes back to talking about how she hates her face. He tries to get her to calm her down but she just buries herself under the covers. This makes him agitated and he finally shouts at her for being so weird. He asks her to stop being so weird and paranoid which makes her burst out crying. He tells her to come back to reality but instead, see he just cries because she doesn't want to lose him. She realizes that she's making the situation even worse but can't help it at all. Jai Wu gets really frustrated and goes home while see he cries the entire night. A couple of days go by and one morning, as he's working, Jai Wu looks at the picture they had clicked a while back and notices how happy they were. 
He realizes that Sihei hadn't contacted him even once. He tries calling her to check in on her but finds out that her number is out of service. He starts panicking and goes back to Sihei's apartment to find it completely empty. She had left without a trace. Jaiwu doesn't know what to do so he goes to the guards for help. The guards tell him that Sihei had suddenly moved out. He asks them where she had moved but they inform him that they didn't know. He then goes to her office where he meets Sihei's colleague. He asks her about Sihei only to find out that she had just disappeared without telling anyone. Distraught, he goes back to the same cafe as before, and even apologizes to the waitress for Sihei's behavior earlier. He continues calling her but to no avail. What he doesn't know is that someone's been spying on him. It's none other than Sihei who is now convinced that she needs to change herself and her face to win back Jai Wu's love. She hides in her new apartment and steps on all their past memories to forget about her face, and proceeds to cut out the best features from various models. She takes all those photos to the doctor for the surgery, and tells him that she doesn't want to be prettier, but rather wants to have a new, unrecognizable face. The doctor contemplates about it and shows her a very graphic video of how facial restructuring is done, so that she knows what she's getting herself into. This makes her puke but she still wants to do it. The doctor agrees but warns her that she'll never get her old face back. He tells her about all the risks and the immensely painful procedure. See he tells him that she's ready for it. The nurse there takes her picture for the last time with her old face. She sure does feel odd and caresses her face because she's about to lose it forever. Sihi then goes back to her apartment and burns down all her old photos along with the ones she had with Jai Wu. The day of the surgery comes and the doctor asks her to think one last time. She tells him that she wants to proceed and so the surgery begins. Days and months pass by and Jai Wu is still trying to move on. He thinks he has lost Sihei. One night, his friends call him out for dinner and he agrees. Jai Wu soon joins them and tells them about everything that happened with Sihei. His friends just console him saying it's normal to check girls out after a certain time, because people get bored of their girlfriend's same old face and body. But deep down, Jai Wu doesn't feel that way and is still heartbroken over Sihei leaving suddenly. He gets wasted and clings to one of his female friends. The rest of his friends continue making fun of her, which agitates Jai Wu even more and so he tries to leave with the girl. But before leaving, he makes sure to tell everyone that he still loves Sihei a lot. Nonetheless, Jai Wu and the girl go to a hotel. The girl brought him there under the pretense of just talking but she has other intentions. She soon tries to sleep with him but Jai Wu pushes her away. He's too wasted so the girl just removes his clothing, and pushes him onto the bed as he continues mumbling about how he cannot betray Sihei. He finally gives in and they soon start making out but just then, a large rock crashes on their window, startling both of them. The hotel manager rushes in and yells at them thinking they're the cause of it. He eventually kicks them out and Jai Wu just goes back home. In the morning, he gets a call from his college friend who invites him to her photography exhibition. He congratulates her on it and agrees to come. His friend, Yanhe, soon joins him and they greet each other cordially. They then go to a restaurant to talk and it's evident that she wants to get back with him. Yanhe behaves rather strangely and tells him that her boyfriend disappeared too, and that she was done trying to look for him. She proposes that the two get back together which makes Jai Wu really shocked and uncomfortable. He's rather hesitant at first but decides to give it a go. They soon start making out and he tries to take her to his place. Yanhe excuses herself to use the lady's room first and Jai Wu agrees. She goes into the bathroom and checks her face before leaving. She finally meets Jai Wu outside the restaurant who's eager to take her back to his place, but she just tells him that she's no longer interested. This causes him to get into an argument as Jai Wu accuses her of playing with his feelings, while Yan He gets even more agitated. She rolls her eyes and tries to leave but he grabs her and begs her to sleep with him just once. Yan He is disgusted and walks away thinking that he has no self-respect at all, but he stops her once again. This time, he tells her that he just wants to talk to her and asks to drop her home. Yan He agrees but Jai Wu instead takes the car to a parking lot, and tries to coerce her into having romantic moments with him. She denies and so, he tries to kiss her forcibly. Yanhe slaps him tightly for this behavior and he stops. He cries and opens the door for her. Yanhe steps out of the car and apologizes before leaving. Early the next morning, Jai Wu finally decides to move on and gets into a ship heading towards an island. There he sees a mysterious but beautiful woman sitting across from him. Her face is fully covered. He stares at her when a ball lands on her feet. A little boy runs behind it and the woman kicks the ball away from her and towards Jai Wu. They soon start kicking the ball at each other as a way of flirting. But the woman disappears suddenly as soon as they reach their destination. Jai Wu drives away from the ship where he sees her again and offers to drop her home. But the woman just walks away without speaking. Jai Wu gives up and goes back to all the places that he and Si He used to visit together. There, he sees the mysterious woman yet again and approaches her this time. He clicks a photo of her and she soon walks away. He follows her but realizes that she's vanished again. He goes back home and stares at her photo longingly, hoping to find her. The next day, Jai Wu visits his friends again. There, he sees three ladies ready for a date. He really takes a liking towards one of them and hopes to go on a date with her. They use the old boat method to determine who's going with who. The three boats there consist of each of the ladies' names and whoever the boat lands on, has to go on a date with that woman. 
Jai Wu desperately hopes for the girl he likes but gets her friend instead. He doesn't like her at all and decides to take her out only for the sake of it. But the girl on the other hand, actually likes him a lot. She tells him that she doesn't expect him to stay much longer even though she likes him, because she's not conventionally very attractive. This makes him feel bad and they start talking. The air gets tense for a second before the girl proposes to go shooting. Jai Wu is intrigued and agrees to it. He notices that she's actually really skilled at shooting. The day ends and Jai Wu compliments her on her shooting skills. The girl then says that while they walk away, if they end up turning around and making eye contact at any point in time then they should meet again. Jai Wu agrees and the girl walks away without looking back. He realizes that the girl had already sensed him not liking her and didn't want to hold him back out of pity. She walks away with tears full of eyes but doesn't look back at all. Jai Wu feels bad nevertheless and walks back home. As he reaches home, he gets a call from his friend who tells him that the girl he liked was also interested in him. Jai Wu gets excited as his friend tells him that the girl has his number and might call him. He waits for her call all night but to no avail. He gives up on her and goes to his usual cafe. The waitress there gives him his coffee and sits across from him. Jai Wu is shocked to see that but the waitress just smiles and walks away shyly. He doesn't pay much heed to it but the waitress is deeply infatuated with him and keeps staring at him. She even writes a secret love letter to him but doesn't have the courage to give it to him. Later, as she's pouring more coffee for Jai Wu, the waitress accidentally burns him in the process. She panics and immediately starts to clean up his stained jeans. Jai Wu walks away quickly while the waitress is just happy to have talked to him. Later during the day, he goes to the same ship that's heading towards the island. Coincidentally, he sees the same waitress there and they chat cheerily. When they finally reach the island, Jai Wu offers to drive her around and she happily agrees. They reach the statue park and walk around while giggling and cracking jokes. They climb a couple of stairs and chat. Soon, the waitress asks some passersby to click their picture but Jai Wu doesn't want to, as this is the same place he had clicked pictures with Si He. He is really awkward but doesn't say anything. The waitress then asks him about his girlfriend, to which he replies that she left him about six months ago. She further asks if he's waiting around for her and Jai Wu replies that he doesn't know. All he knows is that he still loves her, but also realizes that a lot of time has already passed, and she's probably not coming back. On the ride back home, the two of them hold hands together and flirt. They soon start kissing, not realizing that they're in the middle of the road. Lastly, the two part ways and Jai Wu drives away. The waitress also walks away smiling and blushing. The next morning, as Jai Wu is walking down the street, he's stopped by a little girl. She hands him a letter which he takes curiously. Jai Wu looks at what's inside and walks to the cafe where the same waitress from before greets him cheerily. She asks him about the letter and he just tells her that he can't really decipher it. It's the same note she had written for him. She smiles as Jai Wu tries to read it and brings him coffee. The waitress keeps on hinting that it's from her but Jai Wu can't seem to figure it out. He then finally realizes he doesn't even know her name and asks her for it. That's when she replies that her name is Sai He. Jai Wu is stunned to hear that because the name sounds almost identical to Si He. She tries to write her name on the letter but Jai Wu doesn't let her. He's really upset that she scribbled on the note. When Sai He tries to throw it away, he just snatches it away from her and broods it to himself. Sai He is really upset to see his reaction and tells him that he's just overreacting. That's when Jai Wu tells her that the letter is from his girlfriend Si He. Since their names are too similar, Jai Wu thought it was from Si He. He confesses that he's still trying to find her and so the letter is really dear to him. Sai He asks why did he lead her on if he still loves his girlfriend so much, but Jai Wu doesn't answer. She storms off and Jai Wu walks away from the cafe. At home, Jai Wu tries his hardest to get rid of Si He's scribbling as he thinks the letter is a coded message from Si He. He goes to the same cafe the next day but Sai He isn't the same as before. She doesn't talk to him at all. He notices this and tries to apologize but she just walks away pretending not to hear him. When nothing works, he sneakily drops the coffee on the floor to get her reaction. But it doesn't work. Instead, Si He starts fuming and walks out of the cafe. Jai Wu tries to run after her but decides to go back to the cafe owner and ask her for Sai He's number. After that, he goes back home and desperately tries to call her. Sai He is angry at Jai Wu but still loves him a lot. She prints their picture together and even listens to the voicemail he had sent. She's happy to hear how much he misses her. So the next day, she runs up to him in front of his car to get his attention. As soon as he notices her, Sai He runs away again and he follows her. He runs after her and they get into a playful fight. Jai Wu eventually enters the lady's room and tries to look for her. He finally finds her and they have some fun inside the cubicle. They make out and the two head to his apartment. Jai Wu offers to make dinner and walks away while Sai He starts wandering around. She sees the photo of him and Sai He together but doesn't say anything. Jai Wu finally prepares the dinner and they start eating together. Sai He compliments him on how clean his apartment is and confesses that her apartment is really messy because she doesn't have time to clean at all. They continue chatting and cracking jokes. One thing leads to another and they start kissing again but Sai He stops him midway. She says she has to go but Jai Wu insists for her to stay. She doesn't listen and starts packing. Jai Wu tells her that he is willing to clean her apartment the next day, and Sai He just smiles and kisses him while walking out. 
After she's gone, Jai Wu notices that Sai He actually replaced the pictures of him and Si He with their own. He doesn't think much of it and tries to move on. The next morning, Jai Wu actually goes to her place and starts cleaning. That's when he asks her about her childhood pictures and Sai He says she doesn't have any. Jai Wu finds that strange but doesn't say anything. As he's cleaning her cupboard, a photo falls out but Sai He grabs it before he can even see it. He asks to see it but she denies it and starts making out with him just to distract him from the photo. She then sneakily hides the picture under her mattress and they end up having romantic moments. Jai Wu tells her that he really liked making love to her and Sai He smiles. When she asks him if he loves her, Jai Wu just says that he doesn't know yet. All he knows is that she makes him really happy. They spend the whole day together and go to the statue park again. There Sai He asks him if he still loves Si He a lot and Jai Wu says that he does. They kiss and end up back in her apartment. Sai He asks him if he'd leave her for Si He. Jai Wu tries to avoid the question by saying that Si He would never come back. But she's not satisfied with the answer. She asks him what he'll do if she comes back but he doesn't answer her at all. This makes her incredibly insecure. After they're done having romantic moments, Sai He just looks at him with pain in her eyes knowing full well that she could never replace Si He. Tears stream down her eyes and she can't decipher why she's so upset. We then find out that Sai He is none other than Si He herself who's come back for Jai Wu. Instead of being happy that he loved her so much, she starts to get insecure about her past self and the love Jai Wu has for her. This gets her angry and she slaps Jai Wu who's fast asleep. He jolts up awake and asks what happened. He is shocked and asks why she hit him, to which Sai He just replies that she's in love with him. This makes Jai Wu frustrated and he asks her to never hit him again. He goes back to sleep and Sai He walks away. She sobs in pain and grief. She decides to check him and writes a letter to him as Si He. In the letter, she writes about how she's not been able to forget him and just wants him back. She even asks him to meet her in the cafe. She does all this to see if Jai Wu still loves her past self. The next morning, Jai Wu finds the letter stuck in his car and he is stunned. He looks around as if searching for her. He goes back to his apartment but can't decide what to do. On one hand, he still loves Si He a lot but he also can't lose Sai He. He then meets up with Sai He and tells her about the letter and that Si He is coming back. Sai He smiles knowing her plan worked. She inquires further and Jai Wu eventually tells her that he had been very lonely after she left. He adds that he wants to get back with Si He because he still loves her a lot. Sai He clutches her head in frustration and tells him that she's not going to give up on him. She even tells him that she'll make Si He stop and never come back, which angers Jai Wu. The two get into a huge fight in the middle of the cafe but this doesn't stop her. Sai He screams at him with tears running down her face. Jai Wu also loses his temper and screams at her. He tells her that she's embarrassing him and walks away but Sai He can't control her anger. She slams all the cups and tables on the floor while yelling at Jai Wu. She even runs after Jai Wu while screaming on top of her lungs and orders him to eliminate her before he tries to get back with Si He. Jai Wu just pushes her away and tells her she's crazy, but this pushes her over the edge. She starts hitting him in the middle of the road. Jai Wu throws her off of him and runs away as soon as he can, while Sai He just screams at him while crying on the ground. She had thought that changing her face would make him love her but the opposite happened. She had started to get insecure of Si He, a person who no longer exists. She realizes that she has made a huge mistake of changing herself, because Jai Wu will never love her like he did before. He'll never accept her as Si He anymore. At home, Jai Wu tries to call Si He multiple times but it's unreachable. This makes him restless. On the other hand, Sai He finally reaches under her mattress and reveals the photo she had hidden from Jai Wu. It's a picture of Si He, her old self. She looks at her own face and gets angry. That's when Jai Wu turns up at her apartment and starts banging on the door but Sai He doesn't care. She's too focused on the photo. She ends up doing something crazy with the photo. The following morning, Jai Wu hurries to the cafe to meet Si He. There he sees the same mysterious woman from the ship with Si He's face covering her face. She tells him that she misses him a lot but Jai Wu is really confused. He asks her if she was the one on the ship and she agrees saying she just wanted to see him. Jai Wu gets upset and curses her out for doing such crazy acts. Si He replies that she was scared of time and was insecure which led her to do this. Jai Wu gets incredibly frustrated and screams at her for putting him through all this. Si He finally tells him that she had changed her face to please him, but soon realized that he couldn't ever forget Si He, which caused her to get really jealous of her own self. Jai Wu gets restless and feels betrayed. He's hurt and screams at her for playing such games with him. The people around ask him to calm down, as there's so many people around. Jai Wu calms himself down and asks her why she did all this and changed her face. Si He starts crying and tells him that she thought changing her face would make him love her longer, instead of chasing other women. Jai Wu tells her that he's not some pervert who just chases after women's bodies. Si He apologizes and begs him to remove her mask and take a look at her new face, but he refuses to do so. He tells her that she's really scary and that he wants to get away from her. In the midst of this, he gets louder and louder and the man beside him gets frustrated. Jai Wu also screams at the man and challenges him to a fight. The two of them get into a massive brawl outside the cafe and Jai Wu gets beaten up really badly, but he's more hurt on the inside. 
He just walks away angrily and see he starts sobbing violently. She walks away from the cafe with the mask still on and the people around give her all sorts of stares. She goes back to the cosmetic surgery clinic and visits the doctor. He looks at her distressed situation and asks if she wants her old face back, but she says that she doesn't want to. She tears the mask and walks away. But Jai Wu tracks her down and goes into the clinic himself. There he meets the doctor and asks him to have a drink with him. The doctor agrees and the two start drinking. Jai Wu tells the doctor everything and asks him why Si He did this. He adds how he feels so lost and betrayed, because he really loved Si He but now he's just confused. The doctor tells him that he tried to stop her a lot but she wouldn't budge. But Jai Wu starts blaming all this on the doctor. He starts screaming at the doctor and calls him all sorts of names for doing this to Si He. This pisses the doctor off and the two get into a huge fight. The doctor also beats him up really badly and tries to walk away but Jai Wu stops him. He gets on the doctor's feet and begs for his help. He asks him what he can do now that Sihei is a completely changed person. The doctor ends up understanding his situation and decides to help him. The next morning, Sihei goes back to Jai Wu's apartment begging for forgiveness, but he doesn't open the door. This makes her extremely frustrated and she starts hitting and kicking trees. She goes back to her apartment and cries herself to sleep. That's when she receives a phone call from her cosmetic surgeon who tells her that Jai Wu took the same path that she did. She immediately goes to the doctor who shows her pictures of his plastic surgery and Sihei can't help but feel guilty and awful about all this. The doctor adds that it's been a month since the surgery happened and he's probably still recovering. She completely breaks down in front of the doctor who tells her that Jai Wu loves her a lot. The doctor continues that Jai Wu intends to come back to her in five months with a completely new face just like she had done. He asks her to wait for Jai Wu and she agrees. Si He walks out of the office with tears gushing down her face, when suddenly she sees a man with a fully covered face. She remembers the time she had done the same to stalk him. She gets a gut feeling that the man is none other than Jai Wu and follows him. She finds the man clicking pictures of the lake in front of him and asks him what he's doing. The man asks if she's frightened of his appearance but she just smiles and says that she isn't. The man requests to show Si He his old pictures, and she agrees readily as she still has hope that the man before her is Jai Wu. His voice is really raspy. He tries to find the picture but it's lost. Si He wishes him a happy life and prays that he doesn't regret his decision like she did. She bids him farewell and is about to leave when the man asks her to meet at the same place after five months, so that she can see his new face. Si He agrees and walks away. She goes to the statue park as the place is really dear to her. She visits all the places that she had gone to with Jai Wu. Si He is really distressed as she isn't happy anymore and thinks that Jai Wu taking such a drastic step is her fault. Months pass by and Si He doesn't feel so depressed and guilty anymore. Anymore. She tries to move on and gets ready in the morning to leave for work. She visits the same cafe that she went to with Jai Wu. There she sees a man very similar to him, but the man just passes her and sits behind her all alone. She glances at the man who also looks at her. They smile at each other and get back to their own work. Lots of men enter the cafe and see he looks at all of them with keen interest. She is still trying to find Jai Wu but none of the men seem to match him. That's when the man from before asks to join her. See he agrees and the two start talking. She has the feeling that the man is Jai Wu. She asks him who he is and he tells her to take a guess. She agrees and asks to hold his hand. The man lets her and she feels for Jai Wu's touch. She closes her eyes and reminisces for a second before snapping her eyes open and leaving. The man's hands are too big to be Jai Wu's. She realizes the man before her isn't the one she expected and walks out. But he stops her and holds her hand again. This makes her scream and the startled guy walks away quickly. See he goes back home and lays down in bed. The doorbell rings and she opens the door to reveal a man. He quickly apologizes saying he must have gotten the address wrong and goes away. See he closes her door and proceeds to wrap herself in the bed again. But the doorbell rings and it's the same man. He asks if he can have a cup of coffee but before she can say anything, he apologizes and leaves. See he stops him and invites him in. She wants to make sure that the man isn't Jai Wu and doesn't want to feel guilty about losing him again. The two of them drink coffee together. He looks at the pictures hung on the wall and exclaims that he also took a picture in the statue park with his girlfriend. This makes her curious. He suddenly gets really emotional and starts crying. See he asks what's wrong but the man just says that his past memories came flooding in. The man starts to sob fully and see he holds his hand. His hands are just like Jai Wu so she desperately tries to ask a bunch of questions. The man answers them but see he isn't satisfied with the answer. She grabs his wallet and looks at his picture. The birth date and picture are completely different. The man is confused and tries to ask what's wrong but she just walks away, overwhelmed with grief. She goes to her room and locks the door behind her. The man knocks and tries to talk to her but see he doesn't respond, so he leaves her apartment without another word. Every day see he goes to the cafe and hopes to find Jai Wu again. She looks at all the men keenly to find any evidence of Jai Wu. One of them notices her staring and walks towards her. He sits down opposite her and asks when was the last time she cried. See he quietly replies that she cried that very morning. 
and then asks when was the last time the man laughed. He replies that it's been a long time so she asks him to laugh loudly. The laugh sounds just like Jai Wu. The man then grabs her hand and even the touch is very familiar. See he asks the man a bunch of questions to see if he replies like Jai Wu used to. To her surprise, he does. He's just like Jai Wu and the hope within her grows brighter. The two of them spend the day together and even make out at night. But whenever they try to kiss, a bright light flashes in their face. The man screams out for whoever is out there but he gets no answer in return. See he is still contemplating if the man is Jai Wu or not. The man gets weirded out and drives to his place instead. As soon as they walk in, he kisses her deeply but she stops him and asks the man to freshen up first. As he goes to the bathroom, she starts looking around his apartment for more information about him. There she finds a photo album that contains all his childhood pictures. She realizes that the man is indeed not Jai Wu and is just a random stranger. She feels guilty for betraying Jai Wu and leading this new guy on. See he immediately leaves the apartment. But as she's about to open the door, the man comes out and tries to stop her. He tries to hold her hostage and force himself on her. See he screams out and asks him to let her go but the man insults her for leading him on. The doorbell suddenly rings and he gets frustrated even more. He opens the door but gets pulled out. See he starts to hear grunting and screaming outside. So she immediately opens the door to see the man all bloodied and crawling on the floor. She starts to panic and immediately leaves the place. She runs out into the icy storm but suddenly jolts up awake. That's when Sihei realizes that this was all a dream. She gets ready and runs to the same place where she had met the covered man five months ago. She reaches there just in time to see the man clicking pictures as usual. The man sees her and says that he's been waiting for her. Sihei is keen on seeing the man's new face. The man looks nothing like she had expected and she realizes that she's so desperate to find Jai Wu that she sees in him every man around her. Even after this, she doesn't leave hope and continues talking to the man. The man there invites her to his place to show her all the photos he's clicked so far. To her surprise, all of his collection is of her. Each and every photo he has is of her which really freaks her out. See he asks him since when he's been doing this, and the man simply replies that he's been clicking her photos ever since he met her. See he finally asks the man who he really is, and the man starts to get closer and closer to her. When she asks him if he's Jai Wu, the man remains silent. See he grabs his face and feels his face. The man does the same. The two end up kissing and having romantic moments. See he is finally happy and relieved to have found Jai Wu. But the man tells her that he's not Jai Wu. His name is actually Young Wu. See his face drops. She instantly pushes him away and tears all the pictures he's taken of her. Yun Wu hides himself under the covers as she does so. She quickly walks out of his apartment and throws all the torn pictures on the street. That's when she sees a car just like the one Jai Wu owned. She jumps in front of it and looks inside to see if Jai Wu's inside. But to her dismay, it's some random man. Baffled and almost on the brink of insanity, see he goes to her usual cafe and starts asking each and every man there if he recognizes her. The men there are startled by her behavior. See he is about to walk out in despair but right then, she notices something. She sees a man running away from the cafe as soon as she catches his eye. This makes her suspicious and she runs after him. She ends up in the subway but can't find him. See he starts screaming out for him. All the people around think she's crazy as see he starts to wail and scream like crazy. She cries out to Jai Wu and begs him to show himself because she loves him a lot. The man appears and runs away again. See he runs after and cries out for him to stop but he doesn't. Just as he's about to cross the road, a van runs him over grotesquely. See he sees this sight and completely loses it as she thinks Jai Wu is dead. The man is completely bloodied and see he cries and screams out in pain. She completely loses her senses and in a half-conscious daze, runs back to the doctor. She finds him operating on a person and the doctor is shocked to see her state. See he doesn't say anything and just stares at the woman who's getting operated on. The doctor sits her down and tries to talk to her. But she just laughs and cries like crazy. He realizes how wrong this all had gone when he sees Sihi just covered in blood and shaking fervently. To ease her senses, the doctor asks if she wants to be completely unrecognizable and Sihi agrees. The nurse there clicks her photo and to our surprise, it's the same woman as the frame at the start of the movie. The doctor is determined to make her completely different and the process starts. The woman who comes out of the clinic is the same woman Sihi bumped into during the commencement of the movie. Sihi bumps into herself at the start symbolizing a loop. If she hadn't bumped into the woman with plastic surgery, the idea would never have planted itself inside her head and this whole mess wouldn't have started. That's how toxic the beauty industry can be.